I got the wrong hat. Tommy Cooper was 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 crackers. I mean, he, he was mad. <laughs> and that's what great clowns are about. Empty, empty, empty. Well, that's right, boy. It was just thrilling to watch, like a grenade that's about to go off. You didn't know what was going to happen with Tommy. <laughs> It's a great kind of irony that he actually thought he was more like James Bond. Just one question. What's that? What the hell are you talking about? It's like, well, what's, what's the matter? Four there like that. Four there. Now, where is it now? <laughs> Tommy Cooper was born in Caerphilly and got his first magic set at the age of eight. But it was during World War II as part of the Army Entertainment Wing that he honed his deliberately ham-fisted conjuring act to perfection. <laughs> <laughs> he once said to me, there are a hundred good magicians in this country, you know. He said, I, I don't want to just be another one, so I'll be the idiot. <laughs> not bad, isn't it? <laughs> and he did. He thought, I'll be the fool who gets it wrong. And of course, that made him stand out. <laughs> Where did he get them from? I don't know. <laughs> that unmistakable Cooper style made him the most impersonated man in showbiz. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, hi, Curly. You sure? Yeah, just like I found out the council the other day. I said, I want to skip outside my house. They said, don't let us stop here. <laughs> I said, Doctor, I broke my arm in several places. He said, well, don't go to those places. I can't help laughing. I don't know what's coming next. I said, excuse me, the waiter. I said, this lobster, you got one claw. The waiter said, well, maybe it's in a fight. I said, well, maybe it brings the winner. <laughs> Tragically, in 1984, Tommy Cooper died just as he'd lived all his adult life on stage in front of millions of TV viewers in a show being beamed live from London's West End. I was in the wings and I ran round and I started to give him some first aid but nothing helped. I believe Tommy would have liked to have gone out that way. What a wonderful way to be in a West End theatre with a full house and just go to sleep. Thank you.